For him or her to be happy. Ooh. Puede, puede. Watching from Saying Poon is Lucy. Hi, 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 hi. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to talk about love tonight in all forms, in all places, in all basta, love in general. We'll talk about it. In Sabado night, it's Hugun night and it's Tunog Pinoy. Sabado night with DJ Jin all the way till 11 o'clock. Tita Solvik says, I express my love to someone by simply caring. Ah, but how do you show that you care? To Emeline Mercado, hello, hello, and thank you for the sticker. And sa mga nag-hearts, nag-likes, maraming maraming salamat. Join us for more Maya Maya as we come back after the top of the hour news. So don't go away. A new stream will start on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Pinoy And on YouTube, Metro Plus AM 1044. This is Metro Plus AM 1044. Security forces fanned out across the Iraqi capital Saturday ahead of a regional conference aimed at easing tension in the Middle East and emphasizing the Arab country's new role as mediator. Among the participants are arch enemies uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia, whose rivalry has often played out in Iraq and other countries across the region, including Yemen and Lebanon. Saudi Arabia was represented by its foreign minister, Prince Faisal bin Farhan, and Iran with its foreign minister, Hossein Amir Abdullahin, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, Jordan's King Abdullah, and Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al-Tani arrived in Baghdad for the meeting and were greeted by Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kadimi at the airport. It was the first official visit to Iraq by Qatari Emir, whose country's ties with Saudi Arabia are also fraught with tensions. The high-level summit meeting in Baghdad is a major boost for Iraq and its top leaders, sending a message of Arab solidarity with a country which has increasingly been pulled into Iran's orbit in recent years. A month after extreme flooding killed more than 180 people in western Germany, survivors of the disaster, first responders, religious leaders and government officials came together Saturday to remember the victims who died and express hope for the future. Chancellor Angela Merkel, President Frank Walter Steinmeier, and Bundestag President Wolfgang Skubbel, the leaders of Germany's parliament, attended a ceremony at the cathedral in the city of Aachen, joined by residents of the regions devastated by the July 14 to 15 floods. Steinmeier said, Today we think of.